Hey YouTube, it's that time again. I uh, received uh, my Blackwing volume subscription for this quarter and I thought, hey, it's been a while since I did a pencil video. Why not an unboxing of the Blackwing volume? Coming up right after this. Okay, well, you know how it is. These come in these uh, cardboard boxes, as you see right here. And of course, got all my address stuff here, so I had to black that out. Uh, hope you understand. I don't want to find 5,000 people out in my front yard. All right, so flip it over, open it up, and what do we see? Well, of course, we got our box of 12 pencils and it has the picture of the pencil right on the front and it looks like somebody got a little bit weird with shapes and colors and it's the 155 I'm like oh that's not supposed to be there let's get rid of that okay interesting eraser and in the back of course it has its long schmeal all right let's read that <laughs> Joking. We're going to read the one that's inside. Why do it twice? Once is enough. Before I touch on this, let's find out what kind of goodies we have inside the box. One, we have, of course, the usual packing graffiti. This time it's all yellow. That should go real good with the black graffiti and the gray graffiti of the past. We also have replacement erasers a set of 10 looks like they come in different colors yellow red blue and one black okay this is cool but you know what i gotta ask you guys how many of you have actually used the eraser all the way before the pencil itself was used all the way in that you had to replace the eraser. One, two, three. If you happen to be one, leave a comment down below because I'd be very interested in knowing. Me, personally, not once. Maybe I just don't make enough mistakes. I should really work on that. Oh, let me get rid of this over here. And here, of course, is the collector's tube. That's what I call it, the collector's tube. And I am happy to say that the label is adhered really nice. It is solid. It's not peeling off or in a weird angle that I have seen in the past. So this is definitely an improvement on quality control. I'm happy to see that. It says it's volume 155. The finish is ball hoss. Ball hoss. Ball hoss? Like boss? The ball hoss was founded by Walter Gropius in Weimar. The German term ball hoss, literally building house, was understood as meaning school of building, in spite of its name and the fact that its founder was an architect. The Bauhaus did not initially have an architecture department. Nevertheless, it was founded upon the idea of creating a Gesamtkunstwerk, total work of art, in which all the arts, including architecture, would eventually be brought together. The Baja style later became one of the most influential currents in modern design. Modernist architecture and art, design and architectural education. The Baja movement had a profound influence upon subsequent developments in art, architecture, graphic design, interior design, industrial design, and typography. Just in case you were wondering. Okay. 
And then there's uh, the graphite. Wow. That's, uh, that's very light looking. Hmm. I'm slightly confused. Let's take a look at something really quick here. It says it's got a Bauhaus finish, black imprint, black ferrule and clip, yellow eraser, and right there, soft graphite. Now, what does soft graphite remind you of? <gasps> yes, the first black wing that this company has released, I call it the Blackwing Black because it doesn't have a number on it. And it has soft graphite. And yet, it definitely looks darker than that. That is very light. So, what's up with the really light marking here for soft graphite? That's weird. All right, well, let's put that aside. Now, I want to look for the stickers or, you know, some other goodie like that. Where, where are the stickers? Hmm. Oh boy. So they're still not adding those. I guess the erasers are supposed to be your neat little thing. So we, Open the old box up here, and of course you have the regular box, like last time. It's a pretty decent box, I like it. And inside, of course, you have the wallpaper-ish insert there. I always thought that was classy, I like that too. And here is the little vellum paper thing that gives you the whole schmeal that uh, is pretty much back here. That's why I said I would just go ahead and read this and not this, so we wouldn't have to do it twice. All right. So here's what it says. Tess asked respondents to assign one of the three primary... <sighs> Sorry. Let me try again. In 1923, Bahas artist and influencer Wassily Kandinsky shared a curious questionnaire with his peers. The test asks respondents to assign one of the three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, to one of three simple shapes, a circle, a square, and a triangle. Kandinsky theorized that there was a universal analogy between shape and color, and his experiment sought to prove this theory. The results were surprisingly consistent. A blue circle, a red square, and a yellow triangle. These shapes and colors have since become synonymous with the Baja style and served as inspiration for the design of the Blackwing 155. Okay. This is the 1138, and look at this. Can you see, let's see if we can see this right there. Look how dark that is. See how dark that is? And you compare that to the other one that I just got. Make sure I don't hit the camera here, but I think you can see a big difference. Look at that. Are we getting lazy or what? This here is way darker than this here and that's supposed to be soft graphite. What's up with that? All right. Well, check that out. Woo! That's quite a stack of pencils. All right, let's take a close look at this pencil now. And there it is. 
the Palomino Blackwing 155. It has a nice kind of uh, milky, creamish uh, color here. It's it's not white. It's 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 lighter than tan. It the best way I could describe this is a slightly tinted cream, just slightly tinted brown to it. So it's a nice creamy color. It's a matted paint job. And so are the designs that are on here, like these uh, blue circle, the red uh, square, and this uh, yellow line here, and then this black line here. Now, I'm kind of curious about something here. According to this thing, it was talking about a blue circle a red square and a yellow triangle. Okay, we got the blue circle and we have the red square. But where is the yellow triangle? What am I missing here? I think there was a problem in the designing here. Look at this. That's not a triangle. So I mean, come on, seriously? We have the circle, we have the square. Where is the yellow triangle? triangle here. Are we supposed to like put several of these together to make a triangle? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, I'm not quite sure why we didn't get a yellow triangle in here. But anyway, put that aside. You know, my wife walked in the office here and this was laying down like this and she goes, oh, that's an interesting looking pencil. I like that. Well, that was an unsolicited response. And so I was glad to hear that. She likes it. I think it has a really nice look to it. I will say I am disappointed that they didn't stick to the theme here. But beside that, it is an interesting looking pencil and I like it. I don't think it looks a lot like those children pencils where they have all those little cartoon designs or psychedelics on there. It's very simple, very discreet. So I like that. The simplicity makes it look really nice rather than really gimmicky, I think, in my opinion. It has the black ferrule, as you can see here. has a nice yellow eraser. I think they complement each other really well. And, of course, the core is always centered in these pencils. And you will see that when we sharpen them. Also, as is famous with the black wing, is the removable eraser, as you can see here, where you can remove it replace it or adjust it. Now we've talked a little bit in the beginning of this video about re, you know replacing the eraser. If you're one of those that actually replaces their erasers, leave a comment down below. I want to hear who actually replaces these because I have never worn out a whole eraser before I wore out the whole pencil first. And we'll be easy on you. We won't say, what is wrong? How come you have to keep a in Anyway, so you go ahead and you just slip that back in because you know it has that easy clip there. You just slide that back in and easy pachisi. There you go. And of course it comes 12 in a box. Now, as far as sharpening this little puppy, I had already done that right here, but I can do it again if that's what you're into. Just hold tight and let me go get my sharpener. All right, so here's a sharpener. It's the same as you'd get if you bought from Blackwing, but it'll say Blackwing on it and it'll be black, but it's the same exact one. It's a Kum sharpener, it says K-U-M in there. Do you see that? Right there, K-U-M. All right, for Kum. Kum, 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 I have no idea. Anyway, it goes into the first hole here. You turn it till it just doesn't go anymore. Then you go in the second hole to give it the nice little point, if you get the point. And there you go. Now, how do I know that this lead here, graphite lead, is centered in this pencil? Well, first off, take a look. If you'll notice that it has sharpened the wood off on all sides. A lot of times what happens is you sharpen a pencil and it has one side of it has more wood going up the shaft than the other. That's because the core of the pencil is slightly warped. I don't like that. I think that's low quality, but you'll find that in a lot of cheap pencils. Let me throw this out so I can write on it. All right, so real quick test here of this pencil. I'm sure it will pass with flying colors as usual. Okay, so this is the... oh. I broke it. 
This is the Blackwing volume 155. Now, as we have seen already earlier, uh, this is a soft graphite, just like the Blackwing Black. Okay, very soft. What does that mean, very soft? Well, that means you're going to get a very smooth and dark okay, print or drawing. Very smooth, very dark, very silky, very buttery. How do you want to describe this? Just glides, very smooth, and it's very dark. Okay, those are the positives. What's the negative? Well, the negative is that the point is going to go flat on you quick. Look at that. The point is already going flat. Okay, so notice this. Okay. I do that, and take a look at that tip, so you can get it focused there. Look at how it just flattened that tip out. Okay, that happens because of a soft graphite. So there's always a trade-off. If you have a harder graphite, it will write longer between having to sharpen it, but it won't be as smooth, it won't be as dark. So you have to kind of find a middle ground. Personally, myself, I like the balanced that you find with the Pearl and several of the Blackwing volumes that have come out in the past. Okay, but the Soft has its place. It's one of my favorites and it's really good especially if you like to draw. Why? Well first off you can get really dark let me zoom in here so you can see. Okay, you can get really dark. Okay, and then just start lightening up on the pencil. Not as much pressure. So you can get full range. And it blends really well because it's very soft. Okay. So it's very good for doodling, for drawing, and you can certainly use it for writing, as I've already done. But just remember that if you're going to write anything of length, more than just a few words, uh, you may want to use a harder pencil because it, you're going to be sharpening a lot, and that really kind of takes away from the creative flow of thinking when you're writing. So you'll want a harder pencil. Uh, and they definitely have those. But we are talking about the 155, so let's get back on this thing. So as you can see, nice and dark, nice and smooth, and for drawing purposes, you can go from dark to light, nice blending and everything because of its smooth graphite. All right, well, there's nothing more that I can say about the volume 155. Uh, that I haven't said already because uh, it's got the quality wood, the nice ferrule, the replaceable eraser. It's got a really cool design on here. Um, except, of course, I'm a little disappointed about that so-called yellow triangle because that's not there. And uh, I'm interested in what you guys all think about that. And uh, it, it's, it's a good pencil and it's definitely uh, going to be one of the ones that I'm going to enjoy using because of the fact that it is a black wing soft graphite, which I happen to be more favorable to the softer side of graphite than I am to the harder side. Of course, everybody has their favorites. Why don't you tell me what your favorites are down below in the comment section. I sure hope you like this uh, quick open box of the Blackwing Volumes 155. So please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.